see Mike. I'm sick and tired of playing games with you, brother. You see, if you wanted to play games, then you've obviously come to the wrong freaking place. <laughs> Kamikaze Ken. Right now, you're probably beating your head up against the wall, sitting on sitting in some stinky little gym, watching videotapes, trying to get the upper hand on superstar Mike Mercury. You'll never learn, Ken. Obviously, I don't think you got enough game playing in kindergarten, which probably explains the reason why it took you three tries to make it through kindergarten. Oh, oh that's sweet. I forgot more things than you'll ever know. Oh, brother, brother, brother. You're through running, and you're definitely through height. You'd best come to Green Bay prepared to face my ass. A superstar gets superstar kind of treatment. And when you're a no-talent rookie, you get treated like a no-talent rookie. You are oh so close to truly finding out just what I mean when I say it's my world. You just live in it. The end always justifies the means. Watching it on TV. Now go check it out on the web at acwprowrestling.com. Get everything you need to satisfy your daily craving for ACW. Get the latest news on upcoming events. Learn all about the stars of ACW with profiles, pictures, and columns. And interact with actual wrestlers and other fans on the message board and in the chat room. That's acwprowrestling.com. Log on today and take cover. Mark your calendars for ACW's upcoming events. On Friday, December 1st, ACW invades the Gravel Pit in Kiel. Gino Bambino wrestles Adrian Lynch for the ACW heavyweight title. Sam Hain takes on one half of the tag team champs, Straight Edge, Eric Hammers. Big Daddy Loker and Kamikaze Ken team up to face Kevin Kruger and Mike Mercury, plus an over-the-top battle royal. Then on Saturday, December 9th, ACW returns to the watering hole for a television taping. Kamikaze Ken has a shot at Kevin Kruger's television gold, and the winner must face one of the GQ centerfolds. The number one contender, Big Daddy Loker, fights for the heavyweight title, and Sam Hain finally goes one-on-one -on -one with Dino Bambino, and there must be a winner. Log on to acwprowrestling.com for the latest breaking news, and keep tuning in to ACW TV on UPN 32. Stefano one on one. We've waited months to see it. We waited to beat the heat for these men to finally go at it. Mono and Mono in the ring. Superstar Mike Mercury, Kamakazi Ken, they're gonna settle their differences, and one man is gonna advance in the ACW TV title tournament. Absolutely right, Byron. This one's been for a long time. Kamakazi's not waiting for anything. Oh, Kamakazi wants a piece of Mike Mercury so bad it's not even funny. The first graduate of the ACW Dojo of Pain. The most motivated kid I've ever seen coming to the business of professional wrestling. He's the Kamikaze from Manitowoc, Wisconsin. And he's got something to say. Hey, bullshit. I don't know what these people think, but I think that it's just about time for you to take your little ball. I think I saw that on the internet. Jack them up! And give them a freaking ring because I'm sick and tired of playing games with your sorry ass. Oh, come on. We knew that for a long defense. time. Oh, boy. And Mercury finally gets in the ring. It's underway. It's underway. Big right hands. Come on, Kazi Ken. The TV title tournament going on. The first round, big clothesline. 
And a lot of noise being made by Kenny's drunken family once again, inebriated to the max. That's just the way they like it, high elevation. Kamikaze Ken Anderson going to work on his former Tag Team Championship partner, the superstar who's already bailing out. Yeah, Mike Mercury, I mean, superstar Mike Mercury. Whoa! Oh, he needs to get a game plan going here. Right Come in on. the small of the back, Mike Mercury too busy posing and printing it out on the outside. Kamikaze does not go for that. He doesn't let that go unpunished, and now he's throwing the right hand down on the floor of the Phoenix Sports Center. And the matchup we've been waiting to see a long time, and Ken Anderson is all over superstar Mike Mercury. The TV title tournament progresses. Matt Byron, Angelo Stefano, oh. right here on UPN 32 All-Star Championship Wrestling as Mercury takes the advantage, throwing Kenny into the guardrail. And Superstar Mike Mercury has the advantage now. Oh. oh, and he's going to work with Chop. This is a war. This is nothing short of a war. Those are shotgun style chops to the chest. This Big knife. Oh! This Nobody home on that one. This is not a wrestling match. This is personal between these This is these a two. war, and Paul Rubens you just better stay out of the way, buddy. That's right. Kamikaze wants to tear Mike Mercury limb from limb. Right now, I don't think either of these men are thinking about the belt. Kamikaze thinking about attacking, and Mike Mercury thinking about surviving Angelo Stefano. Yeah, superstar Mike Mercury's got to get going on the offensive here, or he, even he won't be able to put up much longer. He's got a hold oh. Gary. And to Gary, he waited too long. He was trying to taunt the superstar. Mike Mercury comes in. Throws that big foot right to the side of Kenny's head, and now he's reeling. He's reeling, and the superstar's planting the boots in. Superstar just uh, throws the boots in for a little taunting there. He wants to make Kenny pay, and pay dearly. Right in front of all his fans, right in front of UWGB, right in front of the drunken extended families. You pointed out, Angelo. That's right. There is nothing on this earth Superstar would like more. It's going to embarrass, humiliate, and pin Kamikaze right in the middle of the ring. He took his sweet time doing it, but he's doing it right now. Big suplex, vertical suplex. Tons of impact right on that lower back. Superstar Mike Mercury looks like he's focused the lower back area of Kamikaze Ken to go to work on. Now he's going to work on the midsection. Now he's got his, those boots right into the stomach. Super Elbow right to the side of the head. He's kind of varying his attack right now, Angelo. Superstar taking his time here, measuring Ken Anderson, making sure he gets a lot of impacts between every, behind every elbow, every kick. There he oh, he gets a big boot up, though. Then he's going to attack once again. Big clothesline. Wow. And the fans love it. They love Kamikaze. And that just shows why all the fans are stupid. The family is on fire right now, Angelo. Just because oh. they won't invite you home to dinner as the superstar lays the elbow in. Devastating back elbow by superstar Mike Mercury. And now he's going to take a little time to tell the fans how great he thinks he is. And I think he's that great, this too. This kid who used to have such a great relationship with the people of Green Bay, a Green Bay hero, as it were, has turned his back on everyone and everything in the city. He's created nothing but... Uh, apathy and anger amongst everybody he's come in contact with and now he's laid it down on the kamikaze can kind of almost kind of well mike mercury just got sick of listening to all the stupid fans he's going to buy groceries fans do one and uh, he grab he just got sick and tired of it and i like his new attitude these fans are his bread and butter angelo you know that as well as i do i don't care about the fans i sell they put money in his pocket and he just put kenny down big power bob kind of two Oh, come on, Ref. I think that was a slow count. Sit down, power bomb. Nicely executed there, but I'll tell you what, Kenny's been so focused to this day for over a month. Ever since Rockwood, ever since Denmark, ever since June 20th to beat the Heat when he was turned on in the middle of the ring. Big slam by Superstar, and it looks like he wants to go to the top turnbuckle and put this one away. Mike Mercury, he's not the greatest high flyer, although he has been known to do it. He can bury his offense. He can bury his attack. But he's taking his sweet time here, Angelo. What he, the hell's the deal? He sure is. He's taking way too much time. How many times have we seen someone try to go up top, take too much time, and then in the end, it comes back to haunt him? He's I hope that's not the case. Right now. He's being a little arrogant. He wants he's to lacking. He wants to make Kenny think about how much this is going to hurt. Oh! Deposit settlement on the Green Bay. Front oh. flat, nobody home. Oh, no, come on, superstar, get up. Mike Mercury paid for his arrogance, paid for his childishness, and now Kamikaze Kenny getting that adrenaline back. UWGB, the Phoenix Sports Center, they're firing them up. They're riling up. They're making noise, Angelo. 
And they want Kamikaze to get back in the wrestling match here. And Kamikaze. Got help oh. by Twitter if he does. Uh -oh. Big left hand, boxing hand, the third one. Right hand, close line. He's got superstar reeling here. This isn't good. Personal hatred going on between these two. Oh! Oh! Spinning head scissors. Mike Murphy is able to slip out before he can take any serious impact, but he was still put down. It was prime for that drop kick. And then Kamikaze can't count it too. Oh, Superstar able to escape there. Kamikaze is looking to put this one away as this, the pace of the match picks up pretty quickly here. Picks them up. Got a vertical uh oh slam. We know Benny's what this is. Top, and unlike Mike Murphy, this kid is an aerial specialist. We know what this is. He's setting up for his 10 ton bomb, which could signal the end of this match if he connects with it. This kid is fearless. Oh, oh but he's just that. Desperation move on the part of superstar Mike Mercury. The only thing that probably could have saved him there, and he was able to pull it off. That's the ring experience of uh, superstar Mike Mercury there. Setting up for a huge high impact suplex. That's about superplex, oh. and he got it. He got it. He got it, and that might be it. Got to get him right now. Count of one, count of two, no leg hook. And another slow count by his peewee wannabe, Paul Rubin. Come on. Paul Rubin's never did anything to you, Angel Stefano. Send him to preschool. Let him count to learn, learn how to count to three for one. He's got the one. Maybe the two. I don't uh -oh. know. Uh-oh. He was looking for the Mercury driver there. Rogue left, sunset flip, count of two. That's no. It. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Eddie advances in the ACW TV title tournament, but it's not over. Oh, superstar. The jealous superstar, Mike Mercury. Superstar wants a little revenge here. He's not happy about taking the losing end. Spinning to box kick. By the planet on Mike Mercury, he was able to duck that just in time. Oh, and it looks like... Ten pound bomb time, Angelo. That's right. It looks like he's going to try to hit this anyway. It's not enough to win the match. Ken Anderson has to prove a point, and he's about to do it with... Wait Whoa. a minute. Hey. Rockin' Randy. We got Rockin' Randy coming out to help his bloody superstar, Mike Mercury. Rockin' Randy saving the bacon up to the defeated superstar here. Wow. Maybe it's a lucky thing for a superstar that Rock and Randy made his way down to ringside, or he could have been. What do you two have in common? Uh, I don't know. Maybe they like each other, plutonically, of course. I should hope so. I don't even want to explore that relationship, but Kamikaze Ken Anderson, he's on the mat right now, but he's victorious, and he's looking for gold right here at ATW. The TV title will be advancing in that very shortly as we continue with All-Star Championship Wrestling. We'll see you next week. Matt Byron and Angelo Stefano on UPN 32. Roderick J. McFarquhar here with the Hammers Brothers, who most recently have had a run-in with Mike Mercury and Rockin' Randy, who will now, it is official, as Gina Lanza has said, be taking them on for a title shot. How does this make you feel? How do you think this makes us feel? You want to come into our squared circle, jump on our backs, and that's how you get a title shot? You didn't even come up to us face to face like men. You look like two little Brett Michael girly boys coming up from behind like the 80s hair bands trying to make some bad comeback. Why well, ain't impressed? And you know what? You do get a title shot. That's been granted. And we'll defend these belts anywhere at any time. So we'll bring the pain. All you got to do is show up. I have a feeling there will be play pain aplenty. Next week on ACW TV, Sam Payne takes on Face and Wigs in the television title tournament. But Dino Bambino waits in the wings with something special for the fallen angel. Adrian Lynch makes his first public statement since becoming the ACW heavyweight champion. And Rock and Randy karaoke styling don't sit too well with one WCW superstar, the monster known as Mane.